Hi, I'm PJ Malloy. Today we're looking at non-judging, which is a core part of mindfulness. It's only when we pay attention to our thoughts and what we think about, we start to realize how many opinions we have and how much judging we really all do. As we sift and sort through the day, we constantly judge, almost automatically. I don't like this, I want that, this is good, that's bad. Being judgmental makes sense from the point of view of the person that's doing it, otherwise they wouldn't do it. But it's when we continually make those judgments, that's when we can get tangled up. When people behave in a way that we see as negative, it jars with us, because we've made a judgment on them, without knowing or understanding their intentions. Whatever trait someone is showing, there is a positive version that we have overlooked. You may see someone as impulsive, but they may be just spontaneous. They may see you as gullible, but you may be very trusting. I may see you as inconsistent, but you may just be flexible. The point is, when we understand that another person's behaviour can be positive, we won't try and change it, or think less of them. It's then we recognise that it's our beliefs and views of how things should be that creates a filter in front of our eyes that doesn't allow us to see things as they are. Practising non-judging doesn't mean we won't judge, but we will be more discerning. And the more we can catch it and let those judging thoughts pass away, the more we can live without getting caught by an unhealthy habit of mind. This technique also trains the brain to purposefully refocus which is the beginning of controlling your cognitive processes. Non-judgment is about making a choice to look at things another way, and that is with more understanding and less opinion. Try it out and see how it feels. I'll see you soon. Ted, come on, let's go.